All right, well, here we are again. We uh, just gonna check in on our friend Waves here. Let me try to put it over this way. Yeah, so we get these numbers in. All right, so just checking in on Waves uh, earlier today. I did a video early this morning, actually. Uh, took a short in this area. Looking for it to actually go higher. I, I think ultimately it's higher is, is going to be the move, but I'm surprised it took this long. But as we can see, we have fulfilled almost the full the full chalupa right here. So this was a this is a pretty good trade. Um, yeah, ten of the eight hundred. That's my target. So. 7.2%, 10x, 72%. So, now where are we going? Did we take a long? Not yet. Not yet. Um, I'm probably looking for a closure above VWAP. Looks like it's going to happen anyway. I might take a stab, um, being how this thing likes to react, but if I did, I would only take a little bit, understanding that um, price could easily come down into this range here. Psychological low. I still take it. Even a stab. I mean, even just a wick down could ruin your day on high leverage. So just be mindful of that. Maybe not your whole position. Or, you know, again, I talk about layering in quarters, even, you know, one tenth or one eighth, whatever. Um, whatever doesn't make you sweat too hard on a drawdown. Or, you play the patience game, right? You only do this, you only buy it here, right now, uh, if you think it's just gonna run away from you. It's just no real indication of that at the moment, not the given time, um, and that could change. We, we have Sydney, Tokyo, Hong Kong, uh, all open, so next, next big market's gonna be EU. Um, the EU brink session at 3 a.m. So, actually that's coming up, 2.35. I always forget I'm in California, so, okay. Yeah, you can start to see this start moving again. Getting ready for the EU session. Get fired up. I mean, they're, they're right at where they, where they uh, took off from last time. This is where they sold from. up here you know all through here you know but this is where this is where they really trap traders up here so you know, I'm gonna guess that they might be bringing price back up but we're gonna see now what are we looking at well I'm looking at price you know I'm always looking for the retrace I'm not trying to rush to get in but uh, this is looking kind of good, and I just realized the EU market's going to open uh, the brinks pretty soon. So this might get, you know, just stay above VWAP now and just take off and get going uh, without much of a retrace. But, you know, I always play for that retrace. Um, but, I, you know, I was talking about layering in trades, maybe one quarter, you know, hey, take, take a swag at it now. But understand that price could come all the way down here. Two zero this this entire box two zero six nine two zero eight eight yeah we're up here at uh, two thirteen right so you know you, you have to be able to survive a drawdown at three percent maybe maybe even more almost four percent and it isn't just no reason to do that right but the point is if you take a smaller trade up here uh, the second trade maybe below the fifty another trade below the 800 right you're not fully committed so if this thing breaks down uh, you know you can either scurry out buy back in down here or you know just wait just wait it out maybe it wasn't the right play point is is just don't load up just don't load up right now because this thing could be four percent cheaper in a heartbeat right so and listen you're playing for a big move right I mean Honestly, I, I, uh, I'm looking for this to come back up into this range, 230, even if it put in a similar high or low. Uh, yeah, sorry, lower high, like over here. 
I mean, we could get ourselves back up to uh, take out all these local highs and put ourselves right at the bottom of this box somewhere. Call it 275, right? Easy. And is that 275 or 257? Yeah, 275. I think it'd come up here. You know, but that would give us a, a fairly nice return, even from here, you know, 5%, 5.5% raw price move. But ultimately, I think over time, uh, if this thing corrects itself here, starts bouncing on this 800, uh, and this is what I was looking for, I want to see it bounce on this 800. It did dip below, but this one's got to start moving on out of here pretty quick. And if it does, I think we could see price uh, challenge this local high and uh, that's when things get interesting because I believe we could be off to the races because this move here did a lot of work this move cl cleared a lot out to be able to get up to this level 288 28838 I got an alarm there because if it breaks that I believe we can have a run right up to 337 very quickly like another one of these big big spikes okay so ultimately that's what I'm playing for even though I think this thing goes to zero because it's a defunct stable coin this is not an investment absolutely not right yep, here we go Sorry, price already starting to move so good luck on that one but yeah, I was already calling it yesterday. This is, this is where I'd be looking to buy in anyway. So that's it on waves.